Welcome to another episode of Geek Lunch Me. I'm your host Chris. As usual, um, I thought I'd make a quick video as um, Disney has announced a whole bunch of uh, delays. Um, it was probably about just over a year ago um, that I made a video um, where they had um, announced some more delays, including um, Indiana Jones uh, and the Dial of Destiny was the big one that got put back um, uh, a, a complete year, uh, which is coming to us finally um, in the next couple of weeks. But yeah, they've announced a whole bunch of changes. Um, probably a lot to do with the writer's strike that's currently going on. I remember the last writer's strike a few years back, um, which ended up sort of knocking everything back. So yeah, I thought we'd just go through all the date changes and see how it all stacks up. Don't forget, if you like the video, um, hit a thumbs up. Um, help us out a great deal, gets the video seen by a lot more people. And if you haven't already subscribed, why not hit that subscribe button? We'd absolutely love to have you. We had quite a few new subscribers in the last couple of weeks. I hope you're all enjoying the channel. Uh, thanks very much for subscribing. So first of all, let's kick off with the Star Wars movies. Um, we were getting a Star Wars movie uh, December 2025. Um, that's been put back to May 2026. They're also still keeping um, the date of December 2026. So we will get two Star Wars movies uh, that year. Um, we still don't really know which ones we're getting. We've got obviously the uh, the movie with Rey set after Rise of Skywalker, uh, where she's um, starting a new Jedi Order that's coming from uh, Sharmin Obad Chinoy is directing that one. Um, I would suspect that will be the first one we get which will now be May 2026. James Mangold is doing his um, film set years before, like, like thousands of years before, with the sort of origins of the Force and the Jedi and things like that. You've got the Dave Filoni movie um, set during, you know, the, the, you know, where the Disney Plus shows are at the moment with Mando and Ahsoka and things like that. Um, Taika Waititi's movie, he announced last week that he's still having trouble writing the middle section of the movie. So he, um, that isn't going anywhere at the moment. I suspect with the writer's strike, he shouldn't even be working on that. So I suspect that's nothing's happening there at all. Yeah, so I suspect that it will be the Ray uh, movie we get first, possibly then the James Mangold movie as well. So we're going to have to wait now until May 2026, which means it will be almost, uh, what, seven years by the time that comes out since the last... Um, a Disney Star Wars movie, something I can't imagine they uh, expected would happen. I suspect they can't wait uh, to get that one released and rake in some more of those Star Wars dollars. Moving on to Marvel. Um, the Marvels is uh, the only one keeping its date, uh, which is 10th of November this year. Uh, if you may remember, that has already been put back once. That is sticking to November this year. Captain America, um, if you've seen the video I did last week, you'll know it changed its name, was New World Order, is now Brave New World. That has been put back. It was coming out on the 3rd of May 2024. That's now 26th of July 2024, so it's been put back to uh, the end of the summer next year. Now, obviously, because the Marvel films, because they announced them all um, at once, um, there's obviously a massive knock-on effect. Thunderbolts uh, is the next one. That's been put back to the 20th of December 2024, which in turn puts back Blade. No surprise there. I mean, how many times has Blade uh, been delayed? Um, I don't think they've even got a working script at the moment. So obviously with the right of strike, nothing's moving forward on that. 14th of February 2025, that has been put back to. But um, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if that ends up being delayed even more. Fantastic Four, the long-awaited Fantastic Four um, MCU movie, that now goes back to the 2nd of May 2025, there's been rumours on uh, casting uh, Adam Driver uh, and uh, Margot Robbie as um, you know, Mr. Fantastic and Sue Storm, uh, respectively. Um, there's also been rumours that possibly they, Marvel don't want to stump up the, the actual money um, that would be required uh, for two, obviously, uh, big names there. But I mean, you know, sort of Marvel, you know, Disney, they've got sort of money to throw away. So um, interesting to see what happens on that one. Avengers Kang Dynasty, and that gets put back a whole year. That's now May the 1st, 2026, uh, which in turn uh, throws back Avengers Secret Wars, also been put back a whole year, and that is now the 7th of May, uh, 2027, um, quite a few years in the future, that one. Um, Deadpool 3, uh, good news, that's actually the only film that's come forward. That was November 2024. It's now the 3rd of May, 2024, so I'm only got to wait till next May, so less than a year to go on Deadpool 3, um, which obviously we know has got uh, Wolverine in it as well, and rumours are possibly um, quite a few of the other uh, X-Men um, from the Fox um, movies might be cropping up as well in that one. 
And then lastly, um, Avatar. Avatar, no uh, stranger to delay. I mean, how long was it between Avatar and Avatar 2? Absolutely ridiculous. Kept being put back. So, of course, Avatar 3 has now been put back uh, to December 2025. Avatar 4, um, December 2029. And Avatar 5, should it ever get made, December 2031. I mean, Jesus. I mean, 2031, that's just even, you know, that's too far it too far flung in the future uh, to even think about. Um, obviously, Avatar 3, they did film all the motion capture work for when they were doing Avatar 2. So that one is definitely going forward um, and will be, say, becoming December 2025 for obviously working on uh, the post-production, which takes them years to do at the moment. Uh, Avatar 4, I would have said previously that whether or not we get Avatar 4 and 5 uh, would be uh, highly up for debate, but obviously with the amount of money now that um, Avatar The Way of Water has taken, uh, obviously showing that there is still a massive appetite for these movies, even though according, you know, to the internet um, and people commenting, you know, no one's interested in Avatar and it's, you know, not made a blip on the cultural landscape. Um, everyone turns out at the cinema um, when the new Avatar film comes out. So, yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see James Cameron still working on these. They're obviously very much his babies. He obviously loves um, what he's doing on Pandora. So, yeah, we have, expect Avatar movies now um, up uh, into the next decade. So there we go. Um, we're going to have to wait uh, a little bit longer uh, for our next installments of uh, Star Wars, Marvel and Avatar. But don't worry, you can console yourself watching new episodes of Geek Lunch Meet, which will be coming to you, um, you know, on a regular basis. I um, hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, take care. Until next time, eat geek and be merry.